you know, we are concerned, I am deeply concerned about virtually everything that Trump is uh, talking about and has talked about in his campaign and the kind of people that he is appointing. But what's going through my mind right now is to figure out the most effective way that we can fight back. That's really what I am focusing on right now. And what I will say and what I believe to be the case, the Republicans are many things, but they're not dumb. And if millions of people begin to stand up and fight back, are they going to be thinking twice about doing very bad things? I'll give you just one example, Amy. Uh, a couple of years ago, sad to say, not only all, virtually all Republicans wanted to cut Social Security, there were a number of Democrats who did as well. And some of us in the Senate organizing a Defending Social Security Caucus, we work with senior groups all over this country. We've got millions of signatures on petitions coming in, and you know what? They backed off. They did not cut Social Security. So I think if there's, if there's a lesson to be learned right now, and we are fighting for huge stakes, we're fighting for the future, future of the planet in terms of climate change, we're fighting for the future of American democracy, we have got to mobilize people and rethink our commitment in terms of what our role is in the political process. And the message I just want to make here in Philadelphia and across this country is it is not good enough to say, well, hey, I vote every two years, I vote every four years, that's fine, but that is not good enough. What we need to do is to be thinking every day the kinds of role we can play in educating and organizing and mobilizing people to defeat this horrific agenda. And I do believe that if millions of people do stand up and fight back, we can stop him from doing some really awful things. And that's what I am trying to do right now, and we've got to mobilize people.